can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. Since determine the maximum weight w that a man can lift with constant velocity using the pulley system, without and then with the leading block, uh, which is pulley at a over here, the man has a weight of 200 pounds, mm, and the coefficient of static friction between his feet and the ground is mu uh, equals 0 0.6. Okay, well, uh, this is a, a machine, sort of a frame and machine plus friction, right? Um, it basically has two systems over here. So uh, what the force connect the system of the person and the system, the pulley system, is the tension over here, right? This is really important. Which of Joel uh, over here uh, for the free body diagram? So here's the pulley system, right? And this is the tension. And this tension is connect the person uh, over here. So first, uh, which well, it's always good usually you know to start with a deep pulley right this is where usually where they give you the force in real life so in real life situation as well right you want to calculate okay this is this heavy how much force do i need to pull such a heavy thing right this is usually how a mindset will work and this is usually how a question uh would ask you they give you the weight and let you calculate the tension so let's start with the pulley um, system over here this is a really simple one. So according to Dr. Jeff Hansen, I really suggest you go watch his channel and on his pulley videos over here. And he, this is what he did. His method is cut the rope method. As long as the rope is all in one, right over here, see it's one rope over here, right? As long as it's one rope, we can cut it um, and make the weight fall off, right? Make the well. If you you can just cut it here, but that doesn't tell you anything, right? So cut the uh, cut the rope, and then it falls off, and um, that would tell us the tension, right? Because it's all equally distributed. Uh, it's all one tension over here. Well, all one rope. That's what I meant. So if you look at over here, right after the cut it uh, rope, so that would be this. Uh, this, this, and this, right? Since it's a rope, then that means uh, all the tension throughout the rope must be all equals to each other, right? So this is W, then divided by three, so one of those is uh, W3, right? And it's going one over here, W3, 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 da da da. So that means T also equals W over three, right? And here we go. So now we understand what T is. Combine it over here uh, equals W over 3. So we can't really use any... Um, so we have two unknowns, T and N, right? And there's FR. And uh, so we can use um, the... We can use the sum of the forces in the XY direction to give us, um, well, two unknowns and two equations. We are guaranteed to find uh, both the answers, right? So some of the forces, let's start with x direction uh, equals to 0. Let's say going to the right is the positive. Uh, that means w over 3 times cosine of 45. Over here it says 45 degrees angle, right over here. And uh, this is going to the negative x direction, so it's negative. Um, and plus the friction force, which is dependent on the normal force, which say the normal force times mu, right, which is 0.6. Uh, equals to zero. So, yeah, so 0 0.6 Newton, I mean, a normal force, uh, equals this times w over 3 times 0 0.7 or 7. I, should, I think that should, should be the answer. And simplify everything. So, you over here, uh, you divide it by 0 0.6 on uh, both sides, right? So, 0.707 divided by 3 divided by 0 0.6 and uh, that should give you 0.393 W right and looking at the second equation which is going to the y direction right some of the some of the uh, forces going to the y direction going up with the positive y direction equals to 0 uh, therefore W3 times sine of 45, right, and uh, plus the normal force and minus the 200 pounds give us zero, 
right? And you plug N into, you know, substitute N over here, over here, right? So that's sine of 45. I'm in the right mode, right? Yeah, sine of 45 uh, divided by divided by 3, which give us 0 0.3 two three seven five uh, seven right, W plus zero point three nine three W equals two hundred pounds right equals two hundred pounds so you plug everything into your calculator and uh, solve for W in the end W should be uh, three hundred and eighteen pounds right three hundred eighteen pounds and then uh, looking back over here, I just didn't want to draw a person anymore. You know, my drawing skill isn't that good, so I just did all the forces. And uh, hopefully you understand. So it's still one tension, right? So this tension over here, it does not contribute over here, right? It's out. Okay, so this is still W over 3. So this is still out of the uh, position over here because you cut this, this will still fall, right? You don't have to cut this. For this to be for this to fall now you can say okay you cut this one is off but you know please don't say that right um, but you have to cut cut the whole thing so it's still w over three um, so we can use so this tension over here this w over three right um, let's see yeah because of adding this pulley it doesn't it's a fixed pulley right it's a leading block so therefore it only changed the direction, right? It didn't change, uh, you know, any uh, reduction of force. So yeah, if you learn this in your like beginning engineering courses, if you have it in your school, right? A fixed pulley does no mechanical advantage, and a, a moving pulley does a mechanical advantage, right? Mechanical advantage is means if it's positive, right? It means that uh, with longer distance you have to pull. Uh, you requires it requires you a uh, shorter and uh, like less force but anyway uh, so let's use some of the forces in the uh, y direction right because I think this is pretty easy um, because na will just has to equal us to 100 200 pounds right there's not any other force going to the y direction and then some of the forces in the in the x direction over here right equals to zero and over here it will be W over 3 equals uh, 200 pounds times 0.6, right? So it's 120 times 3, give us W, and W equals 360 pounds. And here we have it, right? So let's write over here, W equals 360 pounds. And over here, W equals um, 318 pounds. All right. So what does this teach us, right? Um, it means that you know we can only use friction force, right? To so in reality, right, the friction force is the only force that will resist us and generate and support us to pull more weight, right? If it's completely slippery, then we can only use our force, you know, using the weight of our mass to exchange for W. But since we can use utilize friction, it also allow us to pull more force, which is exactly what's happening over here because W is comp is exactly opposite of friction. We, so we can fully utilize the friction force um, in picture B, right? At picture A, however, there are forces going upwards, which are already using our weight, right? But it's not enough uh, using more efficient for using, fr uh, more efficient using friction than, you know, using your body weight. So yeah, uh, hopefully this question was helpful. Uh, hopefully it gives you a little bit of a better understanding of what pulley system and how it's being used uh, in a friction scenario. So yeah, um, good luck, and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.